the, uh, the challenge of making sure those assets work. And I hear, I hear heckling from the uh, opposition, Mr. Speaker. Had there been a process in place when the 407 was being considered, Mr. Speaker, had we had that asset work for us, I'll bet it would not have been sold and we wouldn't have lost those billions of dollars. So we're taking a rational approach, Mr. Speaker. We're going to make sure that the assets that are owned by the people of Ontario work for the people of Ontario, and we are going to make the investments in services that we know people need, and I hope that the third party Thank will you. join us in support of those, Mr. Speaker. Your question, the member from uh, Lee Springville. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. What? Seated, please. Seated, please. Order. Member from Lee Springville. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Congratulations on your uh, re-election. My question through you is to the Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. Minister, congratulations on your uh, re-election and your appointment to Cabinet. In uh, just a little over a week, the uh, Kempville College Renewal Task Force will convene a public meeting to discuss potential partnerships uh, to provide and ensure core agriculture education programs continue to be offered in Eastern Ontario. What the ag community wants from you is your assurance that you and your government will work with any partner with a plan to deliver those programs that comes out of that public meeting. Will you give that assurance to us today? Thank you. Minister of Agriculture and Rural Affairs and Food. Well, thanks very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the member from leeds Grenfell for the question this morning. There's no question in my mind that both Kempville and Alfred uh, play uh, significant roles in the agricultural community in Eastern Ontario. In fact, uh, Mr. Speaker, in my riding of Peterborough, I have a number of alumni, particularly from the Kempville College, and they've been calling me, uh, they've been calling me consistently over the last little while. And we're looking at ways, uh, we're looking at ways to foster partnerships in both those communities uh, at Kempville and Alfred because we know their importance. And we do know that uh, two individuals uh, the Honourable Lyle Van Cleve will be doing an extensive review of Kempville, and Mark Gubo will be doing an extensive community uh, review of Alfred. And I look forward Answer. to working with the member from Leeds Grenfell and my colleague from Gregory Prescott and Russell as we move forward with a Thank positive you. plan both for Kempville and for Alfred. Thank you. Supplementary. Thanks uh, very much, Speaker. Uh, Minister, this is, this is a very simple answer. It's a yes or no answer. Um, well, there is. Uh, several partners, including the municipality of North Grenville, have stepped up to be part of the solution. Others are going to be revealed at that public meeting next week. Can you assure us that your facilitator will implement our community's plan with any potential partner that comes out in that meeting? Are you committed to Kempville? Are you going to force your vision of Kempville on that facilitator, are, or are you going Order. to allow him to listen to the community and work with the task force? Hey, Minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the member for supplementary. Uh, we'll be uh, working uh, uh, very uh, carefully uh, with all the uh, partners, or potential partners in those areas. Uh, we have appointed two uh, very distinguished Canadians uh, to help us with the review. Uh, the Honourable Lyle Van Cleef, who was a very, very distinguished Minister of Agriculture for Prime Minister Cretchen. Uh, Mark uh, Gubo, uh, who has extensive agricultural credentials in Eastern Ontario. So one of the things, uh, Mr. Speaker, that I learned uh, in almost 30 years in, in public life, uh, serving the great folks of Peterborough, that you need to listen very carefully. And over the next number of weeks and months, I'll be listening very carefully uh, to the people in the in Kempfield area and the people in Alfred area to come up with the right solution, a sustainable solution for those two wonderful Thank agriculture you. institutions in Eastern Ontario. Thank you. Your question? The member from Kitchener, Waterloo. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. This question is to the Premier. In addition to Moody's, Standard & Poor's also has a negative outlook for Ontario's credit rating. As you know, our credit rating is important because it can impact our ability to invest in education and health care, key ideas in the activist centre.